Hey guys, how you doing? Do you remember this song? Okay, so I want to go over this uh, cartoon called Josie and the Pussycats back in the day when I was a young little baby boy. I used to love to watch cartoons and I'd watch anything pretty much that was on TV um, in the cartoon. I, I didn't care. I was a kid. I was like three years old, four years old. But I want to go over the episodes of uh, what you'd think is a harmless cartoon for children. And this is a long time ago, right? You're going back 40 years. Now, <clears throat> episode number one it was called The Nemo's A No-No Affair. The gang run afoul of a latter-day Captain Nemo while on their way to a mus musical gig on Pago Pago Island. And I think that has something to do with Pirates of the Caribbean, right? One of them had Captain uh, Nemo in it, right? Uh, episode two was A Green Thumb is Not a Gold Finger. Thanks to Alexandria's scheming, the gang, thinking that they are headed to Nashville for a gig, end up in the Amazon jungle where they encounter an evil botanist named Dr. Green Thumb, his man-eating plants and head hunters. Now here's another one, The Secret Six Secret. Now this is a funny episode because I know there's a movie from back in the 30s called The Secret Six. It's a pretty good movie if you like old-time movies on Turner Classic Films. Okay, while in Bombay, the gang mistakenly enters the lair of a sinister organization called the Secret Six, which plans to replace an Indian leader with one of their number with the use of a potion that can manipulate facial structure. That's pretty deep for children, isn't it? Episode 4, Swap, Plot, Flop. Valerie bears an uncanny resemblance to an abducted Arabian princess and becomes involved in a plan to catch her kidnapper in a, hypnot a hypnotist known as the Evil Eye. Here's another one. Midas Mix-Up. While skiing in the Alps, the gang ends up in the clutches of a baron called Dr. Midas who plans to destroy the world's entire supply of gold unless half of it's given to him. It's funny because that was the plot in Goldfinger, James Bond, 007 with Sean Connery, and uh, the second, <laughs> the second uh, episode for Josie and the Pussycats was a green thumb is not a gold finger. So they refer to Goldfinger a couple of times. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to the last episode, um, episode 16. Don't count on a countess. The gang is invited by an eccentric countess to play. A private performance on her schedule, her secluded island, where they discover too late that the invention was a ruse to obtain young test subjects for her rapid aging mist. So that sounds kind of like um, uh, invasion of body snatchers type of scenario. And here's one more episode 15: the Jump in Jupiter affair. The gang encounters an alien spaceship in Peru led by a ruthless alien named Zor who forces the gang and the local natives to work in a diamond mine. So, yeah, there's a lot of strange uh, things. But here's another one. All Wong in Hong Kong. All Wong. Do they mean wrong? Like something Wong? When that airplane crashed? Supposedly, a couple weeks ago, all Wong in Hong Kong. Melody comes into possession of a strange ancient coin during the gang's trip to Hong Kong. The serpent, a mad toy maker, pursues the gang in order to obtain the coin, which is key to his plans for Asian conquest. <laughs> so these are children's cartoons. You know what I'm saying? Let's hear the rest of that song real quick and then we'll say goodbye for now. What do you say?
All right. So thanks for watching, and I hope you got a good kick out of this one. I sure did. <laughs> Talk to you soon.